Manifesting Made Basic, the most simple and basic manifesting methodology by Amber Turner. Are you constantly thinking about and focusing on what you desire, your potential? In order to build your vision, you must see your potential and become aware of what you're thinking about on a regular basis. This is imperative. This is the start of becoming the master of your thinking and thoughts. To fully tap into your potential, to build an incredible vision for yourself, is to expand your awareness. Explore. And this is so much fun. In expanding your awareness to build your vision, you want to be curious, be open, try new things. Examples can be rotational dating, going to different events, taking new classes, i.e. cooking classes, art classes, music lessons, etc. Visit new places. This is what I call engaging with life. As you do this, you start to understand you more what kind of things you enjoy, what feels good to you, what places do you like to go, what kind of attributes you value in a partner. Vlogs on YouTube are great ways to help you develop your imaginal act and vision. Pinterest is another great and wonderful resource to help you in your visualization and imaginal act. Use these resources to really develop your vision. As you engage with life, you become clearer on what you wish to experience. While I was in the mountains, I had a lot of time to dream and explore. The new environment really shifted me outside my comfort zone, and I discovered new ideas and concepts. Exploration and disrupting your routine can really expand your awareness. This is crucial in the build the vision and discovering the possibility step. To build your vision, we want to have a collective of thoughts that encompass what we are looking to manifest and experience. For example, you can have a scene or vision that encompasses wealth and you being wealthy. This is an example of macro manifesting. You could be driving any nice car to get coffee as you're living a life of luxury and leisure and exploring the town the city, or wherever you're living, or micromanifesting, and you can have something singular like getting a free cup of coffee. Exercise. Now that you've engaged with life and expanded your awareness, you need to build your vision and imaginal act. In building your vision, ask yourself specific questions to get as detailed as possible. You want to build it as real as possible. If your vision takes place on a beach, how does the sun feel on your skin? What are the sounds you hear? Children playing? Waves of the ocean crashing on the beach? Who is there? What are they saying? How is the weather? What are you wearing? Eating? Get as detailed as possible and have fun with it. Write it down. Make note of all of these sensations in your present reality as well. When the wind blows on your face, make note how it feels. Let it serve as a reminder of your vision, which will spark this memory. We will talk more about becoming a memory later in the book. Becoming the Alchemist. Now that you have discovered the possibility and built the vision yourself, it is time to manifest and become the alchemist. Alchemy is the supposed transformation of matter. This means owning your transformation. As a child, I used to love to daydream versus pay attention in class. I would rather live in my head. There I could be whoever and whatever I wanted to be. What have I told you that was true? A fact. Think about it. Both feel real. I used to have a hard time determining what really happened. Have you ever had a dream that felt so real that you weren't sure if it really happened? That is because your brain and body don't know the difference. Even having an imaginal act that encompasses the feeling you wish to experience can leave you feeling that it actually happened in your reality. Now let's talk about your vision and imaginal act. Remember in the beginning, of this book, we talked about how your thoughts create your reality. 
Well, let's be intentional with those thoughts to create the reality we desire. We also talked about micro manifesting versus macro manifesting. Are you looking to manifest a singular event, person, place, or thing? Or macro manifesting, which is total transformation? Get clear on your desire to manifest. Whatever it is, use your developed and built vision to run and meditate on until it seems like it's just a memory. It's that familiar that it seems like a memory. And this is important because you want it to feel like it's a memory. Run it over and over again in your mind, in your mind's eye. Meditate on the imaginal act that it feels like a memory. So how do you know? It should come across your mind throughout the day with ease, just like a memory would. It's easy like a memory. You want to get to a point where you've built your imaginal act, whether it's wealth, a relationship, or a lifestyle, and engage with it. 